Hello everyone, uh, for today's video, uh, we're going to continue the tutorial. So what we're going to do today, it's uh, so finally, uh, when we uh, finish the last episode, we uh, make the user can favorite a pose and we, gonna, we increment or decrement the favorite count of the pose. But the thing is, uh, what I really like when I work with the front end, it's when my back end uh, uh, developer make my life easier. And one of the ways to make it easier, it's sending which pose is the favorite of the user. So what I mean about that, it's example right now. So this is where we left the last time. It's I need, when I send, this is what I got. I get ID, title, text, blah, 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 and everything. If I favorite a post, so I'm going to favorite a post here. And now if I send, here you see the, the post now, it's favorite. Thing is, did I favorite that? Because why I I want to uh, to know that it's because maybe I want to show a red earth icon when it's favorite and I outline one when it's not. And for now, the the front end is gonna be pretty hard to 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 make it. Maybe like if you use kind of Redux, you're gonna check inside is uh, uh, every favorite in the state if this post ID is inside uh, is favorite. But I think I found a good way to make uh, the life much more easy in the front end. And this is what we're gonna do today. First thing for make it happen, we need to make the route of the post to be authenticated. Well, you can make that and like, I mean, you can make a route where uh, you you make it work for the one who it's not logging and everything. But for now, we're gonna make everyone need to be logged. And we're gonna make a post method, a user method, sorry. And we're gonna work on the controller. So first thing, go inside your module, go inside the route. It's gonna be pretty simple. You take the alt GWT line 12 right there and you paste it right here. So we want to be log here and we want to be log here. That's it, nothing more. Just to make sure we work, I'm gonna remove the authorization on my get and I'm gonna send and I get unauthorized. Now if I put another authorization with my GWT, getting from my user login first, don't, don't forget to make that. Now I send, perfect, now I can receive my post. Perfect. After that, jump on user model here at the bottom. Now we're going to need to make, uh, finally, a little method where we're going to just say if the pose we check is favorite of the user, if we favorite this one. So we're going to do is pose is favorite. Here, I'm going to take a post ID. And here, what I'm going to do, oh, don't forget the, the comma here. Here, what I'm going to do, it's I'm going to do if this that favorite that post so when i say that it's the this favorite post so i mean favorite that post here inside the user schema if this favorite that post that index of sorry index of with the post id in like that it's bigger or equal to zero so that means it's inside that i'm gonna return true Else, I'm gonna return false. Again, because I don't, because I return here, I don't need to do else like that. Because remember, in JavaScript, I return break the statement. So here, here not the statement, but here, like I break my if statement. So here, I don't, I never gonna go there. Finally, perfect. Now we create the is pose is favorite as a method. So now what we can do, it's when we're gonna jump on the post uh, controller. And now we're gonna work that first with the get post by this. Gonna be pretty simple because we get only one. So another thing here with what we have right now, I get a post and I get and I send my post. The thing is, it's not like yes, we made a current application, but nothing like uh, we can make more than a current. I mean. We don't need to just send what we have in the back in the database. Like we know we have already removed some stuff from the post and the user. Like example, the user we remove the password. But before you push to the front end, you can module not module, but like you can change what the database send you before you 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 give it to the, your user in the front end. So this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna create. I'm gonna make some place here, and I'm gonna just change that before we remove it. So now here, we're gonna make a promise that all. So what I mean by that, it's here I'm gonna do a variable called promises, where we're gonna await a promises 
that out. And this that out here take an array. So premises that out it's a way to have more than one premises working in the same time. Uh, not in the same time, but they go like uh, uh, one by one. But I, uh, it's a good way to just manage uh, all your premises in together. So here I'm gonna do user that find by ID. So I need to have my user first. And here I'm gonna do react that user that underscore ID. So this is what are you get the user. Don't put a semicolon here because we are in the array. So that's why we don't do like const user. We don't need to do this here. You're gonna see in a moment. Here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this request here and I'm gonna paste it right there. Perfect. So now, how can I access uh, what I have here? It's gonna be pretty simple. Here I'm gonna do const favorite. So here that's gonna be a boolean. You're gonna give me, I'm gonna do premises that zero. When I say that zero, it's this thing. It's an array, and you know this thing gonna always be at the position zero. This thing gonna be at the position one because it's the index. So here index zero, it's my user. I'm gonna call that favorite that is pose is favorite and i'm going to put the reg that params the id so that's going to be the id of the post so as you can see what we can do too is i can say post con post equal promises that one like that now i can remove this line but now I need to re now the thing is I'm gonna showing you if I'm returning because here what I'm gonna do I want to mutate my post object here so example if here I send the post and I send the favorite like that so this is something like I did when I start working with this so if I do this and I jump to postman example here so I'm gonna take an ID and I get here look what's gonna happen what it's this thing. What is that? I mean, man, what? It's all this thing. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I see my favorite. I see my post, but the thing is, what happening here? Thing it's here, we're returning a, like a new post. So, I mean, don't return a new post, but we put the post here, but he don't do anymore the, that JSON, like he don't uh, format himself anymore. So the way to have just the, what we need, it's to call the, the method already on the post call to json all in uppercase like that so this method right now gonna make use and uh, gonna make my uh, post work like we as spec but now look what happened favorite true oh so now so if i click here again and i click in again back favorite false you see now so my user so this is the thing you need to think in your application as the viewer. Me and you are in the application right now. We work, we're on the front end, we play with whatever we want in the front end. What I see, it's my application. Like it's, I'm the viewer of my side. You see what you are in your side. So you don't see as mine. So I'm a user, I have my own stuff. So for me, this is what I got. Here, when I get out, when I get my uh, ID, I see favorite false. You maybe you get true. So here, the interesting in the viewer. So now think about that. Oh, that's gonna be pretty simple in the front end after that to just manage the favorite and unfavorite. I'm gonna do just if favorite is true, I'm gonna show this icon. If not, I'm gonna show this icon. Don't need any more to do array, uh, like maybe like uh, array includes or index of and whatever you want. Now my backend send me what I need. That's it. And now my front end gonna just play out almost with just HTML and in JavaScript, just really plain. Don't need to do any kind of filter or maybe like just see if the stuff is inside the array. Perfect. So now the get post ID is working. Now we're gonna jump on the get post list. It's gonna be a bit more complicated. Because here, when you, you see, that's going to be pretty simple. Here, I have only one post. So here, I do const favorite who return me a boolean. Because here, that's going to return is post favorite. So this thing here. So if it's favorite, I'm going to return true. If not, I'm going to return false. Here, my post premises one was only one post. So it's pretty simple. 
But now here, I need to jump on my post list. Again, I'm going to make some space. It's better to work from scratch. Now, cons, promises. Yes, we're going to have other promises that all. So here, I'm going to say away. Promises. Promises that all. Here, create a promises that is reserved with an array of results when all of the provide promises. So you see, so that's why I love Visual Studio Code. It's that can really help you with that. Here, easy, find by ID, create that user that underscore ID. Again, good thing to put it in the same place. Going to be pretty much uh, easier for you to to see it. Pause that list. So finally, I just copy paste what I have here. Nothing more. Yeah, but. That post post perfect. Now, how gonna, gonna uh, how I'm gonna manage it? So I search method for that, and I finish with I think a good one, and I decide to use videos. So for the one who don't know videos, I really encourage you to go to the MDM website or Mozilla Developer Network. And I'll maybe wait my next tutorial on my little JavaScript quick tips. And uh, I'm going to show you how Reduce works, but Reduce, it's awesome. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const post. So finally, I'm going to just modify my uh, post array. Like here, I just do this, but now I'm going to modify it. I'm going to say premises that one, because remember, zero and one here, that reduce. I can do reduce because it's an array. Here, reduce, take a callback. And start like that. But reduce take an argument first. Reduce take a, you're gonna take here the initial value. So inside the callback, take the previous value, the current value, current index, and like the initial value right there after the comma. So here initial value, I'm gonna say that's gonna be an empty array like that. I'm gonna have access to my array here at the first argument. So I'm gonna call that error for array. So you see previous value. After that here. I'm going to have my uh, one post at a time. So that's going to be my true value. So now here, what I can do, it's I'm going to do like that. I'm going to copy and paste in this thing here. Oh, maybe not copy and paste. Don't do this. It's not good. <laughs> here we're going to do const favorite equal promises that zero. So the user that uh, favorite that is post favorite and I'm gonna pass the post that underscore ID because remember the post it's only one it's the curve post right now so it's a looping reduce it's we loop here it's a higher order function here now what I can do it's R that push so I'm gonna push a new object I'm gonna do dot, dot, dot post and I'm gonna do favorite so here I get the favorite only for this post at the time so this is like, that's one maybe going to be false, okay, going to be true, going to be false. You see, like, that's going to loop over. And here, don't forget to return. Sorry. So now it's going to be really easy. We remove this like that. Now, do you think that's going to work? So we're going to remove that here, and now I'm going to send. Oh, shit. What just happening here? What? It's all this thing. Oh. Yes, I remember what you, oh, yeah, to JSON right there, yeah. I say that, and I, just because, man, I get I get stuck so much last time because of this, and I find it, and I just want you to be sure. I don't want you to go on Google after you we meet together. I want you to, to know that, and now, wow. Favorite falls, favorite falls, favorite falls. You see? Um, I think I, this one, I like it. So that was the first one at the top. I like it, so now I'm going to resend again. Now it's true. Yeah. So you see. Now, example, oh, I'm going to like this one. This one, I think that's going to be a good one. I'm going to like it. Send. And I'm going to send back. True. False, 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 true. So yeah. So that was pretty like that. So as you can see, a good, a, an important thing I want you to understand is because I, I get this question a lot with uh, my uh, some of my students. It's, yes, but, I mean, if, if you send true there, that's going to be true for your son. No, the app, it's for the viewer. It's for the one using it. So don't get in the in the habit about thinking about 
everything you send to the front end, it's what everyone going to see. No, no. Yes, it's what everyone going to see, but you can manage it to make it work only for this kind of, this person. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, episode. So let me know in the comments. Let me know what two you want to see again. And uh, now I'm working to uh, on a tutorial about making it in the front end for this one uh, because I almost done with my Meetup uh, app, uh, React Native. And I know I uh, surely, um, some of you have maybe a disappointed that I didn't continue. So what I have built, it's I'm building right now the mobile app of this one. So we're going to use this API we have already created. I think that's better to just make both together and because it's going to start to get me a lot of time. So I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you didn't. Uh, share and like. And I will really appreciate that. And have a good night. Bye.